The Christmas Heart is a very good but very emotional film. This was released in 2012. It's directed by Gary Yates and written by Michael Heaton. And it stars Terry Polo, Paul S. A. Ember and Ty Wood as Anne, Mike and Matt Norman. We also have Cruz Brown as Tommy Norman, who is Matt's younger brother and really a great source of hope in this film. This is about a teenage boy called Matt who experiences hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and is in hospital desperately in a heart transplant. And of course, he's on a waiting list waiting for a match to become available and his family and obviously the neighbourhood are, are worried. They're terrified. And it kind of slightly focuses on these Christmas luminaries that the street puts up every year and they decide to wait for Matt to come home before they light the luminaries. And by making that decision that they are just going to wait for him to come home, it shows that they are hopeful, they have faith, and they try to you know, remain as positive as possible. But of course, in times like this, that's not an easy thing to do. And it's not an easy film to watch in a good way because it's a very powerful film. And it also stresses the importance of... Uh, organ donors and I think even if it makes one person put their name on the list for organ donors once they pass that is a good thing and I know I'm on the list I signed up or registered or agreed to organ donors was many years ago and I think the ability to give somebody life or save a life after you're gone is incredible and I don't want to you know go on about it too much in this discussion but if the film does that for even one person this film could save a life it sounds dramatic but if somebody watching it is so emotionally touched by it that they then go and ensure that they are registered as an organ donor it could it could potentially save somebody's life and not many films have the ability to do that so very moving very meaningful very touching very emotional. I am choking up just thinking about it. It isn't the quickest film. It's quite slow because a lot of it is waiting around and characters just dealing with their emotions. But there are some dramatic scenes and I want to say the use of music and sound effects and also the use of silence at certain points in the film I think is, is very moving and very well done and help to keep things interesting when the narrative maybe isn't moving forward as quickly as one might like but the slower pace it works well for the narrative and really helps to give that sense of anxious anticipation and allows us the time to experience the emotions of, of different characters we have Matt's younger brother who is basically just of the mind that his brother is just sleeping and that he will wake up at some point and everything will be fine. And I think that childlike innocence helps to provide hope in the darker times. And that's not to say the adults don't have hope, but as they are able to see the seriousness of the situation, it is definitely harder to hold on to that hope. And it, it's a very moving, very powerful film. If you're looking for a gripping narrative with twists and turns and you know, a really fascinating narrative structure, this isn't going to be that film. If you're looking for a jolly Merry Christmas film, this isn't going to be that film. It is a heartwarming film at times as people come together to support each other, but it's not a jolly Christmas film. It is, however, a very moving, important film with a really important story that, as I said, has the power to save a life. And you can't say that about many films. The Christmas Heart is a difficult emotional journey, but it's absolutely worth it.